If you wish to proceed, a payment is due. In Greek mythology, Charon is the very man of Hades who carries newly deceased souls across the river Styx. However, a payment is required in the form of an obelisk. Today's look is inspired by the myth and I'll show you how to get this melted coin skull. All products are listed in the description down below and without further delay, let's get started. To begin, outline your skull using a white pencil and use your fingers as guides to help with symmetry. This particular skull is not anatomically correct as I wanted exaggerated features. Experiment and play around with shapes and find a design you love and that works well with your bone structure. Once you've got that mapped out, apply a silver body paint over your skull. Today I'm using Maron's water activated body paints as it leaves a lovely metallic finish. And for this look, I wanted my character to appear as if the coins had melted over her and were running down her skull and chest. To achieve this look, we're going to add some drip lines around our skull. To add a bit of glam, we're going to add a smoky eye. I jump a bit ahead of myself on this look, so start by applying a turquoise blue around your entire socket first. Then take the gray and using another brush, angle it across your eye and get a clean cat eye form. Once you've got your basic structure down, build up to black on the outer corner and drag it under your lower lash line. Finish the lids by tapping on a glittery black shadow before applying eyeliner and tight lining your waterline. Finish the eye with some mascara and silver body paint on the inner and lower corner. For this goal is metal, go ahead and add some silver body paint to the ends of your lashes as well. Now for the shading of the sockets. To save you from boredom, I've gone ahead and outlined both sockets with black body paint and I am now shading around the edges with a matte black eyeshadow. The black should be at its darkest on the edges, so add more black body paint if needed. The process is the same for both the nose and temples. brush and outline your lower part of your skull, making sure to keep those drips clean. Now, let's jump to the teeth as you'll want to map them out first before you outline them with black. I find it easiest to draw lines first and then focus on getting the direction of them correct before adding the teeth. Once you've got that down, add your teeth and fill in the rest of your face with black. Taking a black eyeshadow, tap that around to give yourself some shading. When using metallic paints like this, you'll need to tap on shadows as opposed to blending them. When you blend them, it removes the body paint from below and you lose that metallic finish underneath. So to keep everything looking shiny, tap shadows on instead. Since we want to keep things looking a little more crisp, let's add black body paint and outline the deepest part of our teeth. So you're basically going to use this technique around the entire skull. Take black body paint and add lines around the edges of your skull and once those are down, begin tapping on black eyeshadow to create depth and shadow. metallic paint is it can basically go over anything, so you can use it as a highlighter around all the edges. Developing the drip pattern is by far the funnest part of this makeup. You'll need to consider how the molten metal would move down the skull and run around the sockets. To achieve this, imagine you're in the shower and water is running down your face. It doesn't run down in a straight line, it bends around your features. So, you're going to need to trick the eye by using black shadow to make forms and using the silver paint to cover out how it runs over other elements. This is a lot easier to watch than for me to try to explain. Since the 
chest is a bit easier to freehand, take your silver body paint and block out your vertebrae, sternum, collarbone, and ribs. Once you've got that all down, cover the rest of yourself in black. There isn't really much more to this than the techniques you already used on the face. Just to reiterate how that goes, outline everything in black, tap on black eyeshadow for shading, and then use the silver as a highlight and then to add your molten metal drips. On your costuming, you'll want to paint your ears on the off chance they could be showing. After that, I'm putting on my wig and crown and my coin earrings before popping in my contacts and painting my hand. And that's it! You're now ready to ferry lost souls to the underworld. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial as it's my entry for the 2017 Knits Face Awards. I had a blast coming up with this idea and I really love how it turned out. If you want to know more about my stick and coin covered crown, I'll add a small write-up to the description down below, and I hope to see you again!